obviously India won the series today in obviously, Australia. Yeah. Yes. You didn't even know. You had to ask. <laughs> Put the camera on the score. Yeah. Now he's asking. Players the Indian team obviously won by three wickets. They did. How bad do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, uh, <laughs> I have two passports. I obviously have an Australian passport and a, a British passport. So. Today I'll be using my British passport. <laughs> what, are you, what are you laughing at? What are they laughing at? James, can you can you share some nuggets on what has been the team environment in terms of obviously we have got a huge Indian contingent. How has the banter been? Yeah, I think uh, you know I'm fighting a fighting a lonely spirit here. I'm the only Australian in the camp, so um, yeah, I've copped it from all angles, especially from uh, the doc, the physio. The media man, the kit man, another media man, and Divine, who doesn't even know what the score was. Uh, so now, nah, look, credit to India for winning, but um, it was a sad day, and it happened to be at the Gabba, which is my home where I live, over the road, so it was even harder to take. But um, yeah, look, it's all good banter. You can obviously see the game from your balcony. Had you been in Australia, how worse would it have been? And in terms of you would have obviously seen the game with yeah. your wife. And yeah. I wouldn't have been at home. I would have uh, left for that day. And uh, I think if you watched the game today, there wasn't many Australians in the in the crowd because um, I think they knew what was coming. So they got out of there quick, smart, and uh, happened to be a lot of Indians in the crowd. So I think every Indian that lives in um, Brisbane was in <laughs> was at the Gabba today. So they celebrated, and um, congratulations to the Indian cricket team. Have you had a word with your wife? I mean, has she feel you in terms of how the mood was because she could literally see it from? From a stone's throw away. Yeah, yeah, she was walking the dog yesterday and she said it was positive and all the Australians thought they were going to win it and they were a little bit uh, uh, kind of cocky thinking they were going to come and come and win the fifth day and then win the, the test match in the series but um, yeah I think today she said that it was very very quiet around there and uh, yeah the Indians were celebrating all night so I'd say they'll be having a few curries and a few beers to celebrate. <laughs> there was a quick rapid fire, you obviously played cricket while growing up were you a batsman, bowler, all rounder? Bowler. Bowler? Yeah. Fast bowler? I thought I was fast, but I think I ran faster than I threw it. Is there any bowler you idolised growing up or you wanted to be like him or you, you know, uh, mimicked his action? Yeah, Glenn McGrath for sure. Uh, for Christmas and birthday, I always got the Glenn McGrath bowling line and length kit. And um, yeah, he's an amazing cricketer. And uh, I know India is such a huge, passionate cricket nation. And, and Australia is similar. When we were younger, in the summer, we'd go to the cricket nets and we'd go to uh, friend's house and played backyard cricket after school and um, yeah you, you just never wanted to get out when you're batting but you always wanted to bowl and take wickets so uh, yeah cricket's a great sport. Is there any uh, game between India and Australia which you which is your favourite or which is? Uh, none stand out for me individually for just one game but uh, I always remember when India came to Australia and um, there's a stage there when you had Brett Lee, Glenn McGrath, Shane Warne uh, and the bowling, and they had a slip cord and kind of seven players in the slip, and I think they had, you know, the Indians at seven for 38 or something really early in the day. And, and then I remember Matt Hayden uh, over in India making a huge total, I think 200 or 300 runs, which is tough to do here. And um, look, it, it was always good to watch Beavis Laxman, Raul Javed, Gengoli, um, Obviously, Tendulkar, the little master, and then you had Harbhajan Singh spinning it everywhere. So uh, it was always good to watch India versus Australia. Uh, we're growing up, there, yeah, it was good, passionate yeah. games. So you're also friends with some of the Australian cricketers, are you? Um, yeah, a couple of them. I grew up with um, Andrew Ty, and he, he told me about his experience in India and um, and, and, and that, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, it's, it's good, but I think he'll be a bit quiet today as well, being an Australian. <laughs> the final one, if you could just give an expression and show how your mood is today, uh, keeping in mind the result. <laughs> <laughs>